Okay, this is lesson nine, building the orthomosaic. Building an orthomosaic uses orthophotos, which are photos corrected for distortion and geometric inaccuracies, and they are combined to create an orthomosaic image. So it's having ortho, these orthophotos, with the orthorectification process that corrects it for that distortion and geometry, and then it mosaics or puts them together to create an orthomosaic. So that's a really important terminology to learn right there uh, is orthomosaic because it has a lot of information just in the word right there of how it's created. These orthophotos might look very similar to the top-down photos that you take for aerial imagery, um, but if you're taking things from the side and stuff like that, they could look very different because, again, they're correcting for that geometry and that distortion. So let's go ahead and go into our Metashape project and learn how to build this orthomosaic. Okay, we are back in our Metashape project, so let's go ahead and build the orthomosaic. So we have the DEM, we've built it from the point cloud and the depth maps, um, we've got our DEM here. So let's go to the very top application menu bar, workflow, and go to orthomosaic. Okay, and now these settings are a lot, so it might not appear fully in the screen but it asks you to select the projection and it's going to auto detect and say it's already geometric geographic because we are using the DEM as the surface. If you use the point cloud, then it can change it. Okay, but we're gonna use the DEM because a lot of times it actually processes a lot faster doing so. Okay, so we'll use the DEM. It's gonna ask for blending mode. Blending mode is how it blends those orthophotos together. Do you want it in a mosaic style, an average or disabled? There's more details behind these, but mosaic is a good balance of, of making it a good quality with uh, how fast it processes. Another feature is refining seam lines. Now these orthophotos are getting put together and sometimes in the final orthomosaic you see actual seam or stitch lines in the image that you can see where the boundaries of these orthophotos uh, are. Metashape has a good feature where you can try to refine and smooth those out and maybe even not make them appear nearly as much as they would before. So you can refine them. Enable hole filling. You'll notice that our orthomosaic, it appears like this, but it's actually a full square photo. Okay, so it's got some f holes in it. If you want to enable the hole filling, you could press that. And then this is probably one of the most useful settings that we can adjust for the orthomosaic is our pixel size. By default, Metashape will give you the highest resolution of orthomosaic it can produce with the information and settings from the DEM and how it was built. So this is telling me that it'll give me a 2.004 centimeter resolution. But if you have higher resolution photos and you process them on high quality settings and you built the point cloud from maybe a high quality and DEM and so on, um, you'll notice that the resolution will increase, meaning this could be instead of two centimeters, two millimeters or 0.2 millimeters. The highest resolution may not be the best for your purposes. It could invite more noise, um, so more kind of things that are kind of unclear to see but it will also drastically increase the amount of time that it will take to process. So what I recommend is, you know, something like this, it's already two centimeters, it won't take that long. I've only got 79 photos, I'm only using 54 uh, depth maps and orthophotos to put together, and two centimeters, you know, isn't that high of a resolution. Um, for some aerial imagery applications, maybe you need less than a centimeter, maybe you need millimeter, maybe you're trying to find very high levels of detail in the dirt or other artifacts in the imagery that you produce. Um, but go ahead and change that. If it's a sub millimeter, maybe change it to one, two, three, four, five millimeters because it can really reduce the processing time and you can still get a very high level of detail in the image. So I'll just leave this as is. It's already at two centimeters, that's good. And we don't need to set up any boundaries and we'll go ahead and press OK and let it run. And again, as always, this can vary in time that it processes a few seconds to a few minutes, even hours, depending on the amount of photos, the resolution of the photos, and the settings that you're applying. So we'll go ahead and come back when it's all done. Process completed. And we can see that here on the left-hand side, we have yet another layer added to our workspace uh, chunk, orthomosaic. 
It gives us the amount of pixels for this image, 5364 by 6196. It's got a two centimeter pixel resolution, which is what we kind of saw in the settings. So let's double click that and we have our orthomosaic. And this is always really cool to see how it puts everything together. So right off the bat, especially for our first orthomosaic, I think this looks great. Put everything together. Um, but the great thing is we kind of knew this was going to happen. When you do that tie point alignment process, you get a sense of how well your model is going to be as you go later on. If everything aligns really cleanly and really nicely, your, your DEM or your point cloud or orthomosaic step will most likely be fairly well done as well. But let's go ahead and zoom in and look at a few things, okay? First and foremost, this is aerial imagery, so it's much further away. This was uh, 100 or 200 feet in the air. So you're not going to have the high level of details if you take a photo of the same area, but from the ground, okay? Second thing is you can kind of see where it kind of tried to refine and stitch things together, okay? This is very common for plants because plants often move. You know, trees sway, you've got the shadows there. Trees are not perfectly stagnant. Very fine detail like fences and stuff like that are sometimes difficult to capture in the ortho mosaic. But this again depends on how you take the photos and your equipment that you're using. This was using kind of a beginner drone. Um, it's only 12 megapixel photos, so they're not very high resolution, but they're enough to kind of see the general area and create a map and maybe collect some measurements. Maybe you need to know how much uh, area of dirt is in here if you need to replace this dirt and know kind of the general volume of maybe an inch thick layer of new dirt that you need to put here. Um, maybe you need to know potential new area that you're going to dig. You can see some dry spots here on the grass. Maybe you're kind of observing uh, where areas of grass that you've watered well and haven't watered well. I mean, orthomosaic imagery is a really, really fantastic tool for lots of things combined with the DEM that gives you kind of a little more of that height elevation and slope information. But okay, we have an orthomosaic. It was put together, you know, fairly well for what it needs to do. It shows everything it should, you know. Well, those trees look pretty cool. Those are the tall ones that we kind of cropped out, but they're still included in the orthomosaic. And these were ones that I remember this day when we were shooting, these trees were swaying a bit more and these were kind of a little bit more out of shot. Um, these are kind of three, four trees mushed together. So, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to capture, but that's okay. That wasn't our main focus area. So, okay. These are some things to look out for um, to kind of do a little bit of quality control after you do this. It's really important to do it after every step along the way as you're building this. But here's our ortho mosaic image. From here, you can keep it in here. You can export your ortho mosaic um, if you want. You can export it into you know, a, a JPEG or TIFF file. TIFF file is probably recommended because those are used in most applications, especially with GPS embedded information that we have for this drone image um, you know, and lots of other things that you can do with it. So, okay, we have built our ortho mosaic successfully. And so we are ready to work on any other project that comes our way.